this is Critstar, and today I am looking at Beatmaker Nemesis by UJM. They make a couple of uh, drum machine type of things. They actually make up quite a few plugins, and I'm, um, I think they got like 20 or something of the different ones. They all do different genres and stuff like that. This one, I think, I don't actually remember what it's for uh, in the production. It sounds like sort of EBM, sort of hip-hop-ish, maybe some trap-ish, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. It's dark, and it's nasty, and I love it. Uh, basically, when I'm using these things, I don't understand them a whole lot. So this is more or less me trying to use it better to make a song rather than a four beat pattern. When I typically make stuff, I just hit the C3. And that's all you hear throughout the song. I don't go through any of these intros, these fills, these endings, the verses versus the choruses. What's that, right? Um, or these breakdowns. So I'm kind of messing around with it a little bit more and trying to get, look at it from like a song type of perspective, trying to break it down a little. And I mean a little. So in here, up here, what you can see is, is that I got some MIDI going on. One of the cool f features about these products and what I really, really like about these products that really draw me when I, once I figured out uh, like last year what these things did is that they got these keys up here. And for if you like this pattern, you could just drag and drop it and it will give you the pattern. Cool. Very cool. So basically we're thinking about making song arrangements and, and being able to do things. And in those song arrangements, they have things like intros, fills, verses, chords, breakdowns, specials, and then at the end of it, you know, stopping to do something. So what I did is I drag and dropped like the intro. And then they got the chorus, so let me let me close it. They got the chorus, or sorry, the, the verse. A second verse, which is the same pattern. And then I think this is a breakdown, and then it goes into... Or no, this is a fill. And then it goes into a chorus, so something that has repeatable kind of things. And then another chorus, and then a breakdown, and then we're going to do a new verse. A second verse, another fill and another chorus. And then we're kind of done with the song. So I think this goes to like a minute, but I'm gonna, I'll play a little bit. said I didn't want to play the whole thing and, and I played up half of it but at any rate it has a lot of different type of uh, things to get to, to to break it up to make it more interesting to uh, to allow you to do certain things so now you can sit there and you could probably take something and say hey I got I got an intro so now I want to do something intro what can I do the UGM stuff it kind of as a uh, has got you uh, set there. So if I kind of wanted to do something of a, let's say the guitar with the amber type of stuff right now. Takes a little while to load on my computer. And it has phrases. And it sort of has those little buttons up here. It's hard to see. But let's drag and drop and see. Curious of what, uh, what? Kind of want to see what these. I haven't I haven't done the. 
So it looks like a C3, so I could, I could move it up. And then what I want to do is then for each of these, I kind of want to change the key that it does or the note. With that sound, the, the acoustic guitar is, is kind of mm, not not uh, not happening for me. So let's let's uh, drag out amber and let's replace it with carbon, which is a probably a nastier sounding metal. Which has a different. A different uh, thing, so it starts a lot higher. So let, let's try going with these and going up to C4. And what we could do is we can, I think we can do this. We can go. No, we don't. We don't want to make it a higher, a, a, an octave higher. That's that's for sure. So I can transpose octave up. Transpose octave up. The switch has done really good favors for for me on this. It's not bad. So if I wanted to copy it and then take all of these and then transpose, well, actually, I don't have to transpose them. I can make a semi semitone up. Not bad. I kind of like that sound. And then we got the feel that's going to happen. And then we want the chorus. And then the breakdown. And then we want probably a different sound or a different. And then maybe duplicate that again.
I don't like this intro much. some bass now of course what i'm doing is kind of building and then I'm, I'm making it a little bit different making it more of a song rather than kind of the the four bar beats that i'm normally getting into so we kind of want to keep adding in layers and i'm probably going to go with rowdy to keep up the pattern that i'm doing for keeping this all kind of u jam ish and the rowdy has the same interface and they got the same like intros so whoa they got intros Gotta move it. Yeah, all right. So let's try that one. So let's do this one and then copy it to this one. Let's look at that one, see what key it's being drawn in. It's not. This one's awfully weird. I'm curious with these, they don't they don't have the, the key that it's like that at all. Well, it's got a different timing than the rest of our stuff. That might be half the problem. So in here, you got different timings of what these go with. That, that one's a lot closer.
Let's try moving in these. This has really weird drag and drop for the player. I, I must admit, this one's the weirdest of them all. I wonder, wonder if all the the rest of them have a, the same type of to MIDI interface. Because they're they're kind of missing the the kind of the the key, and they're just playing it like an instrument. So when you drag and drop, how do you how do you express what key it you want it in? Maybe I'll just do it the the old way and just grab something like um like a Juno or something. No. Go for something bassy. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dark bass. Truthfully, we could go. So with the intro, we could probably do something with the large open. Yeah, like that. And then. That's not bad, not bad at all. I kind of, I kind of like that one. And then for the the kind of the chorus kind of thing, we could take it. We could probably move it up a semitone or two, and get the get the stuff that falls out of key, out of key, in key. And then I want to make it uh, kind of different on this one, so we want to probably move this one up to like A2 or something. Yeah, I like that. doing is is missing around maybe we need some melody or something get something kind of probably matrix-ish we're kind of following sort of a dark dismal ebm type of vibe
That's good. Maybe, maybe, uh, if, if you like that, maybe a little wave state native. Although I'm probably gonna have to randomize this. Uh, we're not updating that right now. Yeah, we're gonna randomize. Okay, that did not get us where we needed to. like that i kind of like where it's going i think i'm messing up at the end and usually that's a clear sign for me that i, I, I need to, to stop otherwise i will spend hours messing around finding the sound and i'm probably nobody really what what really want what's wants to watch that as i'm messing up but i, I think we got something really good the, the last time i did something with uh captain plugins and and captain cords and stuff like that and got something decent this is more of a kind of attempt on a more fuller song of course it's a minute long i, I don't want to sit there and spend you know a whole day on 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 doing this for for something for a video obviously so not bad for you jam you jam has some pretty decent type of things I, I think it's kind of funky on the bass type stuff no pen intended but realistically aside from that the, the drag and drop's fine i just don't know how to change the notes and it probably if i read a bit more in the documentation ha, there's documentation on this i'd probably learn but i'm too busy trying to you know learn by by intuitiveness and, and trying to figure it out but overall you could probably build kind of a sample of of trying to get something started and then just keep building on top of it naturally like i'm doing with the 
the wave state and the the other stuff that basically wasn't done by it. The only the the nemesis, the drums, which I I sometimes have an issue with if I'm trying to not do a four on the floor type of beat or a, a kick snare kick snare rock type beat and then the guitars i always have a problem with with doing and this one wasn't too bad i kind of like i kind of like what the, the the pattern had going probably would sound a little bit too robotic but overall it, it was just nice and raw and aggressive and i liked it so anyway hope you liked the video thanks for watching thanks for listening and i will catch you later